beautiful life, a beautiful life, a beautiful life is mine, with N-R-I, N-R-I, the beautiful life is mine, the beautiful life, the beautiful life, the beautiful life is mine, with N-R-I. It is my pleasure to invite Pastor Chile to come and help us talk about leadership and brand loyalty. Please put your hands together for him as he comes forward. Thank you very much, sir, for this time. Thanks a lot. I strongly believe that the greatest asset of any organization is not their money. The greatest asset of an organization is not their money, it's not their properties. But they are people. The greatest asset of any organization is the people. Training makes you an asset. Every organization rises and falls on the people. You are NRI. NRI is not a company, NRI is a people. And until we are trained and equipped, we are not going to succeed in what we are doing. There is something you need to know, and your business will grow. And it is called leadership development and brand loyalty. So I'm going to be fast. I will start with leadership. The best way to succeed in your business is simply to make your customers to come back. There is nothing that helps a business to succeed like customer loyalty. If you can succeed in getting your customers to come back and repeat their watches, if you can succeed in getting people to be addicted to your business, which is NRI, your business will grow. How do we get 10 billion persons to be addicted to our products such that NRI company will be stressed that they, they will need to start another company? Marketing a product or making a sale is different from having a customer. When you have a customer, you will notice consistency and repeated purchase. When we have loyal customers, our business will grow. So how do we come to that point? That is what I want to talk about in this my session. So are we ready? Now let's start with leadership. What is leadership? A wise man said, everything rises and falls on leadership. If you build your leadership capacity, your business will grow. You cannot say you are a leader when you are alone. A leader is someone who inspires people to go with him, influences people to achieve a worthwhile goal. So how do I become a leader? Number one, you must love people. You must love people. How can you have that line as that you don't call on the phone? How can you just register someone and abandon the person? Let them know that, let them know that you are interested in them. Number two is your capacity. Before you start representing NRI, you need to ask yourself, what is the vision of NRI? Because the heart of leadership is vision. You cannot succeed in NRI until you catch the vision of NRI and you are able to communicate it with people. So you must go to our website, go to our magazines, go to our manuals and ask yourself, what is the vision of NRI? to uplift people from the scourge of poverty, to, to raise millionaires across Africa. We are talking about to, to deliver people from sickness and the poverty. You sit down and imbibe the culture. Then look at what the doctor explained to us about what each of you, you are not a medical doctor, you may not know everything, but at least you should know some things about the product. That is capacity. Number three is service. You must understand customer service. Listen, anybody you are registering is your customer. You must understand customer service. There must be follow-up, there must be feedback. When people bring complaint, listen, when people bring complaint, the one you can handle, tell them I will get back to you. So, you, so how do we manage these issues? The official expression, the answer you give people, and all of that, very, very important in how to become a leader. How to become a leader. All right, let me make another point. Leadership training or building your leadership capacity makes you a magnet of people. Where there is a leader, 
there will be followers. Because a leader is someone that makes people to see ahead and go ahead. A leader is someone that makes people to do what they don't want to do. And at the end of the day, they thank you for doing it. If we build our leadership capacity, we will win customers. In network marketing, lie does not sell. It doesn't sell. Yes. Thou shall, if, if you have been to our conference, we have 10 commandments of network marketing. How many of you have been there? We have 10 commandments of network marketing. One of them is, thou shall not exaggerate about your product. The truth is enough. Uh, uh, then please, if you take this nourishment, you will rise from the dead. No, it's a lie. Say what the product is doing. The product is powerful. And it is working. You don't have to exaggerate. You don't have to use lie. Just say what the product is saying. And it will work. So use our testimonials. We have, we have capacity. And then we have you. Say we have you. We have you. That's what we have you. Alright. Leadership development is the secret of the growth of any organization. If NRI reaches 1 million people, some of you here, you become multi-billionaires. You must have reached like 10,000 people under you. There are people in some old MLM company who don't work again for the end. Do you know that you are privileged and lucky to be at the foundation of NRI? So build your leadership capacity. Develop yourself. Write this thing down. My business growth anchors on my personal growth. The success of my business is dependent on my success. If you are not ready to work on yourself, you are not ready to succeed in NRI. Assumption is not the knowledge. Some people say it's the lowest level of life. For me, it's not the knowledge. Anybody who assumes will be daily disappointed. You want to make money in NRI, don't assume it, have a plan. And the first plan is to grow yourself. You cannot give what you don't have. If you don't develop yourself, you can gather 50 people with your money, with your radio program, with your advert, and you scatter them with your character. So build yourself, grow yourself, sit down and prepare on how to succeed in NRI, and you're going to succeed. People are saying, if you want to know how drugs sell in Nigeria, go to the market and see those people selling local drugs. They are selling well. And NRI drugs are very cheap, very, very cheap. I don't know why the price has not increased. Everything has increased in Nigeria except NRI. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, wait, now wait, let's look at it. Since NRI started, Kumunus oil has been sold for how much? 2,000. And Norisha, the same price. The diaphragm, the same price. Can you imagine that? Everything is increasing. Well, when you come to branding, it's actually a strategy. Everything is increasing, but NRI drugs are not increasing. I wonder how the profit is coming in. I wonder how. So that is also a marketing tool for us. To know that this, com this company is here to stay. So let's go to the last part of the teaching and then we'll close. Branding, brand loyalty. Brand loyalty, brand loyalty. Let me define it because the definition is very good. Listen, everybody. Brand loyalty is the strong emotional connection and commitment that people have about a company or a product. It is the strong emotional connection and commitment that people, example customers and staff, have about a product or a company that ultimately leads to customer retention and consistent and repeated purchases. When there is brand loyalty, there is an emotional connection. When your emotion is involved, you can die for it. That is brand loyalty. There are people here, you know the toothpaste you have been using. You have been using it since your mother gave birth to you. You have not changed it. That is brand loyalty. A strong emotional connection and commitment that people have about a product that produces what? Consistent and repeated purchase despite the competition that is around. How do we build brand, brand loyalty? Write this thing down. Loyal customers are your greatest assets. 
because they keep coming back, they keep coming back. Keeping an old customer is cheaper than acquiring a new one. When people are loyal, they can promote the business on their own using their social media platform. That means you will not be spending too much money to market. People must know you. When I was coming, I just went and brought down my car. I said, ah, I must put on my NRI car. People must know you. At times you go from the event, just wear your NRI clothes. Let them see you. You must be consistent, very important. Reward people who are committed in your different downlines. I want to stop here because I'll see who is here. So that we can I mean come back and tell you to stop here. Beautiful life, a beautiful life. A beautiful life is mine with NRI. And our eye, the beautiful light is mine.